Stick it in my nut, you know? Slowly you're on the left, you're all wrong. You go on that baby for the next three months. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Maya Mondays. I go by the name of Mr. Maya. I've got... You can just say my name. Just check my up in this building, bro. So we out here, bro. It's another episode. We just, look, we got so much stuff that we kind of just like want to chat about, talk about, and also just like, you know, it's my Mondays, bro. And since, by the time they see this, will be two weeks since the elections. Would you see winning? Look, I'm going to be honest with you now. I had this conversation with someone. I was like, bro, lots of new parties are obviously coming. And now there's another paper for independent people that can also like start now and be part of it. Mm -hmm. I, I would honestly say the the people that have been in power are still going to be in power for a very long time. Yeah, until like the new generation is like yeah. the older people and they can teach their children. Look it's like when we mom and daddy's age and our children are voting, I feel like that's only when you get see real change. Because now, yes, this, apparently this is the, the most voters in the history of South Africa right yeah, now. That's hectic. No? We st stood in the line for two and a half hours, my bro. So you did get a chance to cross your vote? Yeah, but... Um, okay, well, interesting enough, no, I, I saw, I was with so many of the voting stations, uh -huh. we did the work and we visited all those places, bro, the line was going. It's never been that packed. It's never been that packed. However, I still believe that we still need much more voters if they actually want to change. Also, on social media, everyone's like, you know, voting for the EFF, saying the reasons that they're voting, but it's not showing. How do you mean? Like, if you let it go on TikTok, every second video, people are saying that they're voting for the EFF. But it's not showing in the votes. That's and people gonna... saying like they're not going to vote for the DA. DA is still taking over the West Cape now. I just want to know what's what's going on. I look. I don't know if it's a, if it's a, if it's a, a what's in a mindset. If you say some people have like a, like a colonized mindset, you be like, you know what? It's rather just give it to the DA again because that the way devil can, you know. The devil you know. At least we're going to have some order. Like that's what the people e think. Order. Like order. Uh. But I mean, who does the who does the order really benefit then? You know, it it's, it's, it's weird. But other than that, I think for now, I think stats came out from the IEC. And I mean, I think the DA is again, obviously running most of... That's what, it's on like 50% now? Yeah, 50% on local and then obviously the ANC. And I don't know if you saw Nkunto we see his way. Is now a new party that has been ushered in. So that MK? Yes. Funny Isn't story. that the tribalism? No, 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 that's no. That's no. I saw, I'm sorry. So yeah, I'm MK... Wrong was originally the military arm of the ANC. Okay. So the ANC, this was the ANC, right? And then there was the military the military section of it, which is called Nkunto Wisiza, which basically means Spear of the Nation. They've now opened up as a party. Okay. Uh, which, well, remember, it wasn't a party before. So technically, some of the people of MK, I stand under correction, are still members or niche, niche of members the of the ANC. And did you hear that like most of the parties are funded by the Oppenheimers? Which Is means it? they basically control. All of us, besides like the if, if, and that's MK, interesting. I actually haven't heard that. Mind boggled. And I think the if, if was the only party saying expropriation without compensation. Okay. Yes. So, my name is the only brew that facing us. We're taking this land and you're getting that. If, 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 did you no, I'm just saying. Someone may have voted for the if, if. Who, okay, and who did you vote for? Who did you vote for? Oh, who would you vote? Finally? Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. No, I did vote. I did you vote, did. and I'm gonna keep. I'm, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep my vote because my vote is a secret. Um, reason you being, because, no, I'm not actually. I feel like somebody's gonna take this clip and put it on someone's page, man, and, and then I'm gonna be someone like a poster child for that for that group, and I don't want to be that person. Um, if you ask me what I'm really voting for, it's better service delivery in this country, which everybody wants. Also, the coming down of these prices are way too fucking expensive. Life today is way too expensive in general. I, I, I think I need to reiterate this every time. Mm -hmm. um, so I think we need to obviously... Do you follow have... any people that talk about politics? Not so much. And I have a few people on my Instagram that are... You should actually have this one guy on your podcast. Oh. Darren. Is he good? Mm. Okay, shout out Darren, you're going to be on the next like episode. A, you, you posted basically the right-wing parties and the left-wing parties. Mm. So the right-wing is obviously people's like anti-poor, like middle, yes. okay, and then we have the left-wing parties. Who mm. Almost like in, like in America, I mean, the Republic, Republicans and the Democrats. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So anyway. Republicans are obviously all for capitalism and the Democrats are obviously more for, you know, like, you have everyone inclusive. I feel like about, you know? we can move away from this. Yes. You know, because we're not really... Yeah. I don't feel like we are educated enough to speak on this. 
And now I think I know exactly. I'm a journalist. A journalist. I talk about the stuff. This is my job. I talk of everything. <laughs> <laughs> now. Also, wait. Huh? The other thing. I know we weren't going to speak about this, but everyone is saying like eight months later, there are influencers now posting about the genocide happening in Palestine. How okay. do you feel about that? Um, you know what? I feel like people are going to talk about it, number one, because it is a trend. Number two, more people are waking up, and, and that's okay that people, some people are waking up a little bit later. Um, I think if your voice is making a positive difference into helping other people say speak up, that's also going to be okay. Yeah, because, I mean, we've been posting so people could post more and educate themselves. Yeah. But now that the people are educated, people are like, now, why is she posting now? You're posting it all, all year, and now you want no, to post I that. that. I think it's weird. That's a, that's that's more like a like, like, like an ego thing, like a tit for tit. Uh, now, why are you doing that? I think it's, like it's a very... Having a pussing contest about yeah. who's more model. Who's I'm more model I'm than more you. I'm more model. I post every day. Yeah. I'm, you less model. You only post once a week. You only post a story. two times this month. Um, I would and it's on... taken away from the actual conversation. Yes. Which is the genocide in Palestine. Who which is... Took... See, this one is not posting. Or they're posting now. Like, okay... You the, the I, I think like the, the whole message entirely is out. Everyone knows what's happening. There is the extermination of the Palestinian people happening right now. Half of the people that you think you're fighting for is probably already dead. Mm. And, that's, and that's the God's honest truth because we are basically watching people being slaughtered on a daily basis. Just because it doesn't come on your feed anymore, just because it's not in the news every day, doesn't mean it's not happening. And that's not the only place where this kind of thing is happening. you got the, the what is happening in China. Um, with the Google's What's it now? Uruguay, Muslims. Yeah, the, and then you have also... The mines in Congo. In Congo, people are dying. And, I mean, if you look at things like the genocide, bro, you would even talk about um, someone that's never, that's never been mentioned in history is King Leopold, who killed, I think, like 19 million black Africans. Mm. He hasn't been mentioned. Everyone mentions Hitler and the, um, the Holocaust. That's how the world is, no? Like, uh, that can just happen and it's like... Oh, yeah, we're moving. We move. You know, it, it should make us very scared because mm. what you need to realize is this is an attack on, on, you, on humanity. Yeah. If that can happen to those people out there, it means it can happen here. Facts. Like, whether you want to believe it or not, it could happen where you are right now. Maybe it's not your reality right now because you think, you know, I live in a democracy, you know, and where the country I live in, everything's going to be okay. Things could change that fast. And someone could be bombing South Africa and then what? While we are here, uh, about the... Traveling is a waste of money, unpopular opinion, or... No. I would say no, too, because life is experience. I, I firmly believe we won't mean I would pay more for experience than a diet. What yeah. would you do? If I could... A thousand rand to eat somewhere, a thousand rand to experience something. Experience something, 100%. I feel like I've experienced most of what Cape Town has. Mm -hmm. so, Have you been to Robben Island? Yeah, been to Robben Island. Um, haven't you? No, I haven't actually. Anyways, guys, sponsor trip to Robin Island. She wants to go. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know where my diva was locked up. Listen, I was no it wasn't the uh, spell uh, Robin Island. You push, man. <laughs> I start Robin with a wine, huh? Anyways, choking. Listen, next one. I would definitely. Try. <laughs> this oh, is we my birthday this year. I would love to. Um, but I have to be honest and tell you that I need more money than I'm gonna go. I got money, I'm going to go. I got money, I'm going to go. And we don't want to be that being out here. Hi, ah, guys, can you sponsor us to a trip? Hi, <laughs> <laughs> ah, guys. Listen, we just want you to sponsor for us because we would love to go. Uh, listen, we pull you so How do you feel about the, huh? you know, like, influencers who uh -huh. had a... No, they are some influencers that like to loaf. Or like, um... They like to loaf. You, they googled something and be like, yo guys, where can I get this battery? My bro, did Google not advise you where to get it? No, you almost go in hala. You know what I mean? They actually want you to give it to them for free, but they're not going to say it. No, I don't ever do that, Kak. That's just me. That's personal. That's 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 morals. That's values. That's yeah. what I stand on. And I, you know what? We have like friends and families who will be like, yeah, you just ask him. And we're like, my bro, you can't just go around asking people like, can no. I have that? That is weird. That, that is why people have the, have the idea of that influencers are like this. Influencers are one free either loafers or one free stuff all the time. I think you have to stand on business at some point and be like, you know, I'm a grown person. I can actually go and get yeah, but and someone, it. But yeah. someone will give it to you for free. I don't think you, that, that should be the most. No, I've actually been in a conversation with an influencer where they're like, I wouldn't pay for something that I know I can get for free. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I imagine you a... like um, Easy Burger. Hmm? And then maybe they gave you a free diet one day. But you're not going to go buy a burger because you're like, nah, I can't get it for free. For free. Why must I pay? Look, I'll, I'll go wait till someone says yes for me. And if they say no, I'll go get it. 
for somewhere else where someone's going to give it for free. In the instance, if you are bringing some value to their business and you can actually say, look, I can make sure that at least 40 to 30 people are coming to buy this date of the imposters no but more. But there is no guarantee with that. There is, no, there, is, no, there is no guarantee, but what I'm saying is, or like, if you gave me one for free, like, come on, bring my family around later and we're going to just buy the date to support your business. I'm, I'm big on supporting small businesses yeah. also. Like, if you are going to do business with me, I will make sure that in my lifespan, I will be a supporter of your business because you've supported mine. Yes, no, you know definitely. I mean? So I will, I will buy by you. It's like someone who tell you like, Maya, okay, I only have a 5k here for you, can you post this for me? You would some, okay, you wanna I go? go? I gotta go, I gotta go. Guys, listen, the van's going back. off, I'm gonna make some lap. Maybe we're gonna continue this when I get back, maybe. Maybe. There's a couple more things I wanna add. Yeah, let me go, I love you guys. Safe, Maya Mondays. <laughs> a few moments later. Yo, and a man's back. Now nah, I can run, guys. Listen, the van went off. The van went off. I had to go make some lie. I had to just take a mission. Go, go. I had to spot. But anyways, we're back. We're still talking about a couple of the confessions. Is that where we ended off? Yes, so I think we ended off with a few of the confessions. So, um, some, this is someone's confession. They says, I broke up with my girlfriend almost two years ago. Not a day goes by where I don't think of her. Seeing her with a new man hurts so bad. But I would never try and get it in that way. I fucked up, man. Um, have you ever been... Well, read it again. Did you hear what he said? Oh, daddy, too fast. Sorry, man, I'm gonna slow it down for you. I broke up with my girlfriend almost two years ago. Not a day goes by where I don't think of her. Seeing her with a new man hurts so bad, but I would never try and get in the way of fucked up, man. Yes. So that's a confession. So I'm saying, if you've been stunned with someone for two years, mm -hmm. you still, would you find yourself lingering on them still? No. Not Listen here, in, if life was fair, would you be married to? If life was fair, would I be married to? Anyone. <laughs> I'm not like... I'm being dead honest. Yeah. Like, right now or like uh, years ago? But right now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we're just like, if life was fair and you were like in a fucking fairy tale world, who would you be married to? You're my king. Don't do us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, five years ago, my who huh? would you be married to? No, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you. I was just for an interesting fun fact. I always said I'd never get married. When I was young, I know lots of people had the idea of marriage and they always said to myself, you know, when I'm gonna be older, I'm gonna be married, I'm gonna be with my No, but wife. same I also didn't have like I, fairy tale get married, have I a wedding, never, have children. Ever thought about that. Look, would you would you tell that me? Because we came from divorce period. That's what I'm trying to say. Because I was also not like it, I was like I was, I was never that person to say, I'm going to have kids, I'm going to get married, and I'm going to do Same. this. I've never, ever, ever thought that by by chance, I'm going to say it's through the kudrat of Allah, um, maybe I'll just keep me just. <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> like, I don't think I was ever ready for that. But you still not? I think, I think <laughs> now I am. I think now I could be, I could. I think I could be like that person. sit down, have babies. I mean, you have three other, are you done? What? Having kids. I mean, I won't. I won't completely phrase it out like I'm fine. I would. I would do twelve children if I could. I honestly In would. Plus economy. I. The, that's what I'm saying. If I could, if I was by the means financially, you know, I would have. I would have twelve children. I've always but loved also the movie. mentally like lamming with each child. I. You know that's what? Crazy. I love the movie Cheaper by the Dozen. Growing up, I love that movie. It's a movie for a reason. Nah, I'm just saying, man. I, I personally would because I feel like there's so many different parts of me as a person and some of them could surprise me by being completely different. Some of them could surprise me by being so similar and I think it will just be fun to see all those different personalities, personalities and, and to siblings. still be part of them. Yeah, and to be siblings. And obviously they're not all going to grand my car. I mean, 12 like this, I know. We three and we don't grand my car. You know what I mean? But I mean, there are older siblings that don't like like, I mean, people with many siblings, and they get along with actually their family, and it's quiet. I think it's also cool, man. It's I those family quiet. photos and everything When they together. all pull up, they're like, yeah, now nah, all 12 siblings are here, and like, away. Oh, yeah, what? They're like those family events and You know stuff. what I it's mean? Like, so I, it's cute. If I had it my way, I'd definitely. Now, more tiffs. And you are 32 now? I'm 32 now, King. Do, what do you think is like the perfect age to have kids? I told myself that I'm gonna have my first lady 28. The weird thing is that I said, I always said I'm gonna have a child, I never said I'm gonna get married. I remember being at high school and saying, nah, I'm my first lady, so 28. Yeah, you yeah, had your first child at 28? 28 years old, yeah. Second, 29? Second, 29. Third, 31. Yeah. So if you're gonna have more, like you wanna be like 
the opa at your child's matripo? No, I like. Like, what age would you stop having kids and be like, you know what? Might just have what to call them. Sick to me. I will never get one of those. Never. That goes against the natural law of. Okay, of, so if there was contraceptive for men, would you take it? Like. Like to save your partner from like taking, putting hormones stop. in a body. Yeah, so like around. you could rather take it you instead of her. I would. I would. So, but you can undo a vasectomy. Yeah, but I'm gonna do it, bro. I'm gonna do it. Nah. You know, yeah, I could, so you take pull but you wouldn't like go I would take pull bro. I'm a pull popper, bro. I pop a pull. A three month injection, so. Three month injection, stick it in my nut. You know? Study on the left, all bang. You can't have babies for the next three months. All right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> At what age would you stop having children? At what age? Look, Pacino at his light at 17. You're not Pacino. Pacino. <laughs> Pacino. So when would you stop having kids? Is it Pacino? Yeah, it is Pacino. No, it's De Niro. Maf. It's De Niro. Robert De Niro at 70 something as he's. Another child, a lot lamaki. They must call it a lot lamaki. So, a light lamb. Huh? When would you have your last child? Um, I think I would like to be part of the child's life. So I think like going like after. After 60 is about too old, man. After 60? Yeah. After 60? I would, I would be a 40-year-old making having a light in. Think On some of the notion, no, that we're just talking about children making. Mm -hmm. But if you're telling me, if you're looking at the thing as a oh, whole, like, uh, do you want to enjoy your life still? And when are you going to stop making light mm -hmm. and you want to just actually settle down and be in a thing? Nah, then I think after, like, early 40s is fine to end it off. To end it off. Yeah, to cut it off, like, I think by... By 42 or 44, so you're gonna be like 48 running after your child kicking ball in the road. No, but then you're gonna have siblings, it's like a big house. Just go watch your fucking brother there. You, you, yeah, all the people complain. <laughs> yeah, there's your fucking brother. The just old, go. The older sibling trauma. They did not have children, you decided to have like it's not there. Look, so I must look after children you now. You will just be their other daddy <laughs> and other mommy. It is what it is. You're one of those, yes. So you won't give watch your, your fucking off. brother, watch your brother. Get it, why must I? Hey! And then. You watch him. And then, what if I say, yeah, then I'll make my own like this. If I must look after you like this. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I think we'll cross every time we get there. <laughs> I would also go on at the limb and say, no, that um, children's gonna make up their own mind and do, their, do what they want to in any case. And I don't think it's possible to control any human being or person. They're gonna do. They're gonna do things based on their values. Okay. So with that being said, everything that you've done in your life is because you wanted to do it. Hundred percent. Like so I, no one to blame. I can't blame anyone. So there was times you blamed your mom for many things. No, obviously that was a cop out. Like oh yeah, can I? I might as well use. This I love a, this for you. I love it. Now you but think that it's you. Yes. No. You could. You can definitely use stuff as a vice, like if you want to. But um, if I'm gonna look at it on an academic level, I feel like. All the choices we make is primarily because we want to. Some people say, no, I did this because my mom did this or my dad did this. Yes, some people they have. Me. Some people have trauma, tra traumatic experiences that lead them into doing certain things. But in a, in a more enlightened mindset, I would say, nah, bro, you, you do it because you wanted to do it. That's why you did it. So like where you are in your life, you have no one to blame but yourself. No, you you can't. Hmm. You must you must take the you must you must take, take accountability. Take accountability for everything that you've been through. Yes, maybe you can you can uh, you can be what's the name? Educated on the fact that maybe you weren't educated at the time okay. about something. But if I look at stuff in retrospect. Retrospect. So now I can look back and say, oh, I did fuck up there. It was my fault. I did fuck up here because Wait, I'm a keeper girl. Yes, who fucked up? Of course, I've of fucked course up. I've fucked up. <laughs> Who never fucked up? So, Leslie, I saw this TikTok of this girl she made now. She was saying, why when a girl brings up another girl in a relationship, she's insecure and she's jealous. But when a guy brings up another guy, he's just being protective. Like, I know how bra so oh, I'm just trying to protect you. But why is it not the same for girls? Why is girls always jealous and insecure and men are just being protective? Look, I think by nature, if you aren't jealous, in your relationship, it's also unhealthy. When I don't, I don't mean openly jealous, like you're gonna moor someone here. You're nigh, or you with? Why are you? That kind of jealousy is unhealthy. But 
if I'm going to talk about on the religious values, we are, you are supposed to be jealous of your of other people looking at your wife. Okay. You're supposed yeah. to be jealous at other women. So by nature, we should be jealous because it shows that you honestly but not toxic you, jealousy. You do. It's not yeah like toxic you, like you care. Yes, it's almost like nah. I'm whatever. Obviously, if you're in a good relationship where that's not like a buzz, where you're like, mm, bro, you know what you bring to the table, I know what I bring to the table. We are with my car. Mm. It doesn't matter who comes. It doesn't matter how they look. It doesn't matter how much money they have or what they have or how they look or what colors their eyes or what how their toes look. If I'm with you, I'm with you, my bro. You know what I mean? I don't care if the most famous person walks in here. It's still not you. You know what I mean? So I think, but a little bit of jealousy is good for the soul. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we got another confession. The boy I was cheating on my boyfriend with had a shit box of a car and it wouldn't start after he came over here over and railed me. My boyfriend got back from work hours later and this guy's car was still in the driveway. And that's the story of how I got caught cheating. Yo. That's a heavy one. What would you do? Am, is this me? Is this, is, am I the... Which who am I in the in the story? You're the one who caught. <laughs> With a court? Yeah. No, you're the one who caught your your girlfriend. Go, caught her cheating. Mm. Um, my intrusive thoughts and the reaction to it would first be like this: mass up. No. Mm -hmm. My I think my more academic approach would be like, oh, so you did that? Okay. And I and I take my cock and just like I'll never look back. <laughs> That's it. Just, I'll just leave. So, you can't, you can't hit someone that must did it already. Yeah, facts. And also, like, like, what the fuck? You must did it. So fuck you. I'll just leave. Also, you can't really be quiet for the third person. It's more that person that you should be upset. Like your person. Yeah. The person you're upset with because, it's like, you owe me loyalty, not this, bro. Yeah. Look, but obviously, as 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 males, instinct. Yeah, obviously, instinct but like, not even males. And females are the yeah, same. They're like, territory, I'm gonna moor you. What, yeah, I'm someone gonna slut you in your mouth. So how can you do this? But at the end of the day, it's, it was your partner's. Yeah, it was your partner's choice to say yes or no because no one person can say, "Let's do it." It has to be both ways. Yeah. It's like the girls was like, yeah, that girl, she keep adjusting my book and leave him alone. The side chick, my bro, he want the side He want the side That's why he's going That's there. why he's going. He's, she's not driving to his joint to come along with you. He's driving to her joint. He's to, my point exactly. That's the other thing I was going to say. You know how we talk, we like, can join, whatever. Yes. People will be like, oh, you mustn't talk like that. But like when they listen to the Americans and they're like bitches and hoes and oh. it's normal. What is the Stuff. difference between like colored slang and American slang is like more appropriate than our slang? Because I mean, someone's going to be like, why are you saying kindness? I'm going to go out on a limb again and say the South Africans, for a fucked up country, you live in a way too sensitive. <laughs> nah, that's just, that's just facts, bro. Your country's so in its post, my bro, and you want to be so sensitive, my bro. Look at the facts, my bro. Go, go outside and go see the, you, how much you paying for rates, huh? Do you know the price of food? Do you know who's running your country? Do, do you, is it, is it load shedding in your neighborhood? Is crime and gangsterism and drugs and, and mental health problems not really fucked up enough that you want to worry about stuff like that? I'm not saying it's frivolous, Preach. but... Bro, I think there's much more crazy things to worry about than finding everything to fight about. Like, how can you say that? Then don't listen. Oh. Why did you say that to my... Well, then it's not for you. <laughs> so, but, uh, yes, but I don't like it. No, why did you watch it? <laughs> why are you here? Why are you watching it? Why are you out here? Go watch the cock you like. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> don't watch my cock. Oh, you say my cat here. Huh? Gun, escape down, bro. What? <laughs> okay. My husband has never gone down on me, no matter how much okay. I ask. I'm married for seven years now, and I don't know what it feels like. Is he the only guy that is genuinely doesn't like going down on a female? I'm convinced he went down on another female before me, but okay. it wasn't a good experience. So what are you asking me now? It's a confession. What do you think about it? Um... I would say that it could be, it could be him or maybe he's just not into it. It's very possible that she's just not into it and she wants to be into it. Um, if she's married for seven years and she couldn't get that thing to happen within the first year without a conversation with her husband, mm -hmm. then she's married to the wrong person. Yeah, that, that's wild, eh? Because if, I, if I'm married to you and I'm like, listen, don't you maybe want to, you know, suck the... <gasps> this is from Mitchell's play. No? And you don't want to, and you don't want to... What did you say? Nah, I'm saying I'm almost not, I'm almost not married now. Oh, my wife doesn't you? Oh, yeah, blast the paper a little, you know? Check your levels, I yeah, you know? 
And she says, now nah. I'm like, ah, boss, come on, boss. But if she doesn't want it, what can I do, bro? You can't force them in. You can't force people to do cock, bro. My husband is awfully boring in bed and in general, so I seek attention all over. Slept with one guy while I was married. On Mitchell's place. Wow. Wild, bro. But I mean, Wild. look at people also like, when you get married, do they automatically, like, they think you must be like old school married couples, man. Like, just lose your identity, who you are as a person. Like, you are just a wife now. Mm. And you must do wife things. And no. I think that's weird. I think it is Even weird. Even like when people have kids and it's like, my bro, obviously you're supposed to be there and whatever for you. Getting your married isn't a ticket to become an oldie. Yeah, like, all of a sudden you just fall left. Now they're like, nah, I don't go to the jaw anymore. I don't get so you are only going to the jaw to chase goodness, not to like enjoy uh, yourself with your friends. Again, I, I think that this all goes hand in hand with upbringing and stuff, man. Well, like, and you know, like someone gets person, married in their know. offline completely. Like, depending on the type of person they're married to now, like what is their vibe, you know, like... You can, that's I'll, it though. Like look, you have to lose you, your identity when getting married. If you were always like this people together. Yes. And on your own. I would also say we need to also make space for growth though. Oh no, facts. Like, if I tell you I don't go to the jewel anymore, it's not... I'm married now. Me and my wife are now currently working on our business. Yeah. Me and my wife are currently jogging, so that's where you'll find us. You'll, going to you'll find us. Whatever. You'll find me, you know, hiking the mountain. You'll find me doing adventures because I'm now doing stuff that is with what my lifestyle is. I can't be doing the same stuff I was How doing. How do you feel about like your friends who were your friends and then once they get married, like they're not allowed to lamb with you anymore? It happens, but also part of growth. Do you think that's growth? Or is that like restrictions in marriage that some people just have? I think with that we need to we need to bear in mind that other people also have triggers. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes someone's wife says, "Listen, you can't hang with him because it's gonna trigger you to party." Not everyone's strong enough. Yeah, I'm gonna go out on the limb and say it's okay if if that's how they feel. But as long as you know, I'm still your brew, no matter where you at. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel like we have to connect with each other all the way. Does we don't have to be the same best friends yeah. as we were ten years ago? Because again, but we also grow. Bro. We have responsibilities. You have lighties. You have a wife. You have to go here and there. You have to make sure there's bread on the table. I respect that. The people just grow apart. They do grow apart Which and it's okay. Normal. Yeah. It's okay to grow apart. You're not supposed... Someone can be your friend, but they can still be your friend from a distance. Mm. And it's okay. I think your partner like, eventually friend. becomes your best friend that you do life with. Like, this is the person I choose to do life with. Yeah. But I don't necessarily have to have that But then you have that partners who like... They're like, nah, I can't go with my husband to the jaw. Or I wouldn't want to go shopping with him. I wouldn't want to go do this. I'd rather like have a brow with then him. I, then are you married to the right person is the question, man. I feel like it's very important to be married to your best friend. Mm -hmm. Be married to your best friend because that way you can do everything together. If we both smile to sleep, we can nap together. And you don't have to hide anything. Yes, we're gonna, if we both smile to If tonight, we after 10 years, we're like, fuck, tonight we're going to go dance. We're going to go fucking dance because we like to dance and we'll do it together. And we can go hike tomorrow morning. Also. And we'll hike tomorrow like... or we'll have a coffee or we'll have a breakfast or we'll mm -hmm. go to sleep. No. Giving is not better than receiving. We're not talking about sex, cock, relax. <laughs> <laughs> giving is not better than receiving no man oh, what I, think, I think that's just like a cat person i like giving you like giving aren't you like a giver yeah are you a giver you get two types of people they say you get givers and takers no what are you i'm definitely a giver <laughs> <laughs> look at you i'm a giver yeah <laughs> look i don't i I can tell you that I don't know what it, I don't know so much what it feels like to be a receiver. Like, unless it was, like, in me. <laughs> Does that make sense? I'm not talking about now, I'm talking about in general, in life. I was, if I was with my friends, you I have, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give. Mm. If, if you don't have, I'm going to give. If you don't, I'm going to give. I don't care. The thing is, is, if we're both having a good time and we can do it, then why not? Why not? Like, I'm not, not going to ever be stingy about anything, maybe, bro, like, Bruh, from dust we come and from dust we'll return. But like, so, like, if you have that, share, bro. What do you feel about, like, splitting the bowl? Splitting the bowl? Mm. With you and your friends or you and your wife? Friends or family. Nah, no, just friends or family. Okay, so now, now in Eid, we go to Bukhara's. Mm. We get the bowl. It's me, you, Nerima, Nerima's kids, your kids. Mommy, oh. fuck me, whatever. Okay. And then everyone order their own food and they say, we're going to split this bowl equally. I think there needs to be a conversation <laughs> before <laughs> Nah, I'm saying if there's a conversation beforehand and, and they're like, okay, cool, guys, we're going to do it like this. We'll split the ball. Then we know before the time. If You you can't just throw someone in the deep. And if you say, okay, everybody pay for your own stuff, mm -hmm. 
that could also work. If there's a vet slana in the family, they buy a lot of bucks. And, it, and you pay for us an inch. Then I'm like, nah, then I'm saying, if someone have bucks, if I have money, I'm never going to tell you to give if I really have. Okay. I will be like, you know what? Don't worry, guys, this is on me. Even if I'm paying the police 10k, whatever, 5k, make an example. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay it because I know I have. If I don't have, I'm gonna be, I am gonna be. think I have to be transparent about that also. Okay. Like, always, I don't really have a crew one right now. So I don't want to break my back by saying I can give you guys a quarter of the bill, but and I can cover my lights and myself, you know, but I can't pay, I can't add the extra two grand. I would say. Let's say this happens. You go on holiday, you book the holiday, you and your friends, whatever. Yes. You bought food. Okay. And then you go, you go have drinks and you like, then they ask like, who's paying? But you've paid for all of the stuff now. They all, you just went for drinks. Uh -huh. And they're like, who's paying? And your friend's like, now nah, pay for my drinks. Would you find that weird? 100%. I don't think that would be my friend. Firstly. But I think again, it brings you back to what you said now, unless you had that conversation before. Before the time. Because you would do something doesn't necessarily mean the next person thinks Someone, the same way. Yes, because, they don't. I mean, we came across things like that where you're like, Yo, I thought you'd do it like 80 kids because. Yes. But then are you doing something to get something in return? No. Or do you just think it's the principle? I 100% I get what you're saying. I feel like, maybe we're like, look here. If you know your friend's situation and you know they don't have, no? Mm -hmm. But this then, is my brother, Granny's company. Then it's, all, then it's also on you to know that they couldn't cover that, maybe yeah. You must know they don't have, man. Like, if I know it's my brain, I know we don't have a stage, and I'm not going to ask him to cover them because I know the man don't have. Like, what the hell? I'm like, yeah, it's the right dates. I know you don't have. Um, if I had that conversation before, I said, listen, guys, man, I'm already paying for this joint. Maybe this joint is about 7K. Um, I blast a lot of money, man. Just like help a man out. And like, if we're going to go for drinks, like, pay for that at least. I know you wish that that kind of thing was an unsaid rule. Like you don't yeah. have to say it. Unfortunately, it's not like that. Because not everybody comes from a certain amount of money, a certain lifestyle, a certain background, a certain school of thinking. Um, what did you do if we went out for lunch and then I paid and then like... Two weeks later, I'm like, yo, Maya, can you send me that money? I think you're fucking weird. <laughs> Cut that food out already. Yeah. <laughs> that food is gone. What do you mean? Nah, I think that'd be so weird, baby, bro, because like, bro. Why did you offer then? Yeah. Like you could have rather say. If uh, This is also the rule, guys. I want you guys to remember this. If unsaid you, rule. Unsaid rule. If you invite someone to lunch, you pay in. If you invite anybody with you to a place to eat, you, you the person paying, unless you had the conversation where you said, listen, I really want to go check this place out. I don't even have any money on you, but we should go for lunch. Let's go check this place out. Mm. No, if I say, what are you doing tomorrow? Want to do breakfast? You must already know if I'm in, it means not the everyday thing. Yeah. If I tell you, bro, stick, I, that means I'm paying for you. Because if I've initiated the idea. You already know that like, yeah. I need to know that I have enough for both of us because that just makes sense. Mm. Obviously, if you're going to be with, with, with people who understand life hustle, they'll be like, nah, don't worry, I'll pay for my own stuff. Mm. You get people like that. You get, but then you're going to get people that's like, oh, well, you're not going to put the with the data. Do you, <laughs> <laughs> you believe in tipping? Yes, 100%. Me too. 100%. Are you one of those diff difficult like people who's like, my meat wasn't right, my this wasn't right? I, I, I can be to a, some extent. I can be a Karen sometimes. You can be a Karen. I can be a Karen sometimes. Um, I believe... Look, if I'm going to pay for something now. And I'm so you would tip regardless if the service was cut? No, I'm still going to tip because remember the waiter is doing this. The, the waiter is not necessarily the establishment, nor is, the, is that the chef. No, but I'm saying like, say now you waited, you called your waiter all the time and they're not coming. and they Oh, no, he's there. getting nothing. You would have still. If, he's, if he don't, if they don't it like, like, are we supposed to at least pay 10%? That's in the bill already. Is it? They get a corner at that bill already, bro. Nah, if, if you're giving me bad service, I'm definitely not tipping you. Any place that doesn't have good business, that does, doesn't have good business ethics with their customers, I don't feel they deserve a tip. That's just me. Like, because the thing is, you come to a place and you expect to be treated in a certain way. Ma'am, here's your seat. Um, can I get you a glass of water? Do, do you like some bread with that? Um, sorry for the wait. We're going to be about 15 minutes later. The, the kitchen's a bit full, so I really do apologize for the time. Can I send you a bottle of, um, you know, cool mm. drink and a few rolls over while you wait? Man, I really apologize. Customer, customer service. I think if customer service is not good, then fuck you, bro. You don't deserve you, a tip. Do you tip your barber? Tip my barber? Oh. Nah, but me and my barber's bruiser like that, man. Okay. Now I just saw something where people's like tipping their lash extension. It's like, I think lash. you can tip anyone. 
I think you can tip anyone, man. Like, like an extra something. Like an extra eyes. something. Like, uh, like I'm, I have tipped my barbers. Like, okay, depends. Like, when you're talking about... I'm Not like tipped, but barber. like... Uh, uh, but my barber that I had for many years, I always tipped him. He cut my hair. This is his price. And I, and I pay double. Yeah. Some days, oh, I look at them as my house things. And I must talk a little bit. You know, barbers always want to talk to yeah. my wife. I'm like, yeah, how's life? He's like, yeah, I know the kids and what, what. Now they want to offload by you. Whether you buy a lash stick, whether you buy a, Wait, a barber. People like to offload. They like just want someone to talk to, and once you feel comfortable with someone's energy, you start talking. Do you think you could do that? Like listen to someone's problems like all day, different people? I think it's a lot, eh? Not every day, but I mean, I'm I'm empathetic to a point, but I'm also by the... But have you ever listened to like conversation you leave and you just feel drained after that? Like, That's why you can't... Yeah, not too much, bro. Like, not too, if it's too much, it's... Nah, yeah. I'm going to be honest with you, I was very empathetic growing, growing up with, like, with people and I listen to this stuff. I'm like, yo, that's interesting, you know. That's but now, 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 if, uh, that, that is me saying it in jest, no? But now I'm, I'm not about it. Like I don't want to hear your caca. Your caca? <laughs> <laughs> how, how long do you give someone to complain about something before you tell them, stop complaining, you like, this is your life, you chose this. Bro, part. if we're going to, we're going to, there's a window period for everything. If you fucked up. This year, this month, you have a few months, uh, you have a few Just weeks to, 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 to rectify that. If you, okay, let's say, for example, you're unhappy in your marriage. You can't complain every day of your life and say you're unhappy. No? No, nah, listen to this. You can't complain every day you're unhappy. If you say you're unhappy, then just then, then leave. That's what I'm saying. That's a rich coming from you. Nah, but on an honest note, uh, that's what I would say. If you're unhappy, then go. If you, let's think of another example. If you say someone keeps stealing your food. <laughs> now, that's a weird example, okay. no? Every day I'm going to come to you, they're stealing my food again. But if you never go to the fucking person and say, why are you stealing my fritter? And you don't put your food down, then it's on you. You almost fool me once. Shame on me. Shame on me. So sh yeah, shame no, on you. Shame on you. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Ik heb nog klaar geweest wie ik is. Zo nou, zo heb je dan. Why do men stay in unhappy relationships? We spoke about women and like, the like other how do you mean? Like as a man, why would you stay in an unhappy relationship or marriage? Like you always complaining about your can, you can is a mal nice, she's uh -huh. that. Why do you stay? I don't know, bro. That bro should just go, bro. <laughs> that is not an answer. I can't speak on it because I don't know why, 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 why someone would stay. If you're not happy, then, then you must leave. Is it that simple to just leave? I think it's more about like you're comfortable, man. You don't want to leave because you're comfortable. It's like, do I smile? Going to ask someone what's their favorite color? Meeting your family? Going through this whole process again? again. Yes. Like, I don't really granny, but it's all right, man. I have someone to cuddle with that night, which is fucked up. Yes. But like... I still don't understand. I want well, to know. As a man, if mm. you were in a happy relationship, relationship why would, what would be the reason that you're staying? What is something that would keep you there? Now, it doesn't matter what she's doing. Like, she gave me a mile now, but at least, like, she's doing this for me, man. I don't think there's anything, man, that's worth it. Stinja, you. Stinja, you. Cut your toenail. Nah, I mean, I don't, I think, <laughs> I think growing up the, the, the way we have, I think we were definitely taught the art of independence from a young age, even though we get we got a lot of stuff. What I'm trying to say is I think we could do it on our own. I'm talking about for you and me. I'm talking about myself. For you and me, myself. Nah, like, like I, I don't feel like, like we spoke in the last episode. Oh, but I mean, like, our, we watched our parents do things on their own for long. Yes. So? Like, they were fine. Well, all right. That bro, I'm t I'm a sit in the last episode. That bro was doing the dishes. That bro was hanging the washing. That bro was making the food. That bro was feeding the dogs, including me. <laughs> if you could be like unhinged as fuck on social media, what would you be saying? Yo, bra. Like anything. Okay, you know, do yourself a favor, no? Go listen to the song by Eminem, no? Called The Way I Am. That would be me. Can I play it? Yeah. Do you know it? That would, like, that would be me. Is there anything someone posts on social media and you're like, why the pussy posting this, bruh? Like, that you, like, side-eye heavy. 
what is one thing that you like side eye from social media? That's like uh, it's normalized already, but it's still like weird to you. I can't think. I don't take note of what people are posting anymore. Like I don't like look too deep into stuff. Like I just think like everybody thinks they like uh, a celebrity in their own head. I think everybody's most, people, most like the main character in their own yeah, life. Yeah, everybody's like a main character in their own life. So I'm like thinking, okay, man. So he's not be somebody. Are you caca? You're you caca. He said, you're uh, you word caca. Nah, I'm just saying, man. Like, then, like, so I don't like buzz too heavy into it. Like, I don't, like, I don't, if I don't grant you, I'm probably not looking at your stuff. And if I do look at your stuff and I still don't grant you, I'm probably just scrolling past and going on with my life. So. Could you cry on the internet? What's an Eminem? No, I name? could never. Eminem? The way I am. You could never cry on the internet? No, because I think that would take an amount of planning, man. <laughs> you must plan to do a video where you cry, man. You know what I mean? Like, when, when the video, when I'm two oh, minutes... Oh, you have done one, though. When I'm two when minutes you in. in. Yeah, like but that a, was real. Yes, but I think, you know, it's different is when you are editing a crying video. Uh -huh. Like, this looks like a good part to put here and, like, mm. trying to figure oh, that I'm out. I'm crying like a, like this high-pitched cry. <laughs> Like this gives sad. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, it's, like, I, I feel like you can tell him it's put on, man. man. You can't cry. You can't just chunk like it, bro. I think that's, that's all I have today. You know. Guys, it's been a pleasure. By your Mondays. See you tune next in. week, Monday. Next week, Monday. More coming from us. Peace.